Opening week continues in the Big East Conference. We are spending New Year's Eve in downtown Providence, Rhode Island with two of the charter members of the Big East. It is the Hoyas and the Friars. Aiming up at seven. Diallo drives it to the basket again. He's got nine. And Providence extends its lead to... Trying to stabilize things here, down by 12. Here's Duke stepping outside. Fouls it home. He's worked really hard on that jump shot. I love the release point. It's high, and he's already 6'6". Six, six, Standing okay. around. A quick three from Pitkins, and Providence on top of everything else, they're hitting their shots. <laughs> Be well advised to do so. Pass deflected, chased down by Duke. He's got Diallo out in front. <laughs> and a 22-point lead. With their defense, I mean, this is just... Something to see. These fans are loving it. Trying to start the new year off the right way. Points for the Friars. 25-point lead. Here's Diallo from the top. And they just keep pouring it on. Alpha Diallo has 14 points. Two on one here. And Allen misses the layup. Here at seven, cleans it up. Well, you got to just chip away. Not necessarily just with his back to the basket, because Patrick Ewing is a, is a terrific shooter as well. They finally get one to go from downtown. It's Jamarco Pickett spotting up from the corner. Providence has gotten a little sloppy on the offensive end, but Malik White steps into a three there. The losses. But I got to give the Ivy League their, their love, man. They are good teams, and that's what you need if you're A.J. Reeves. Like I said, I understand to be himself. Handle that ball a little bit more. Reeves a Woo! step back, and there's the A.J. Reeves we saw here. Last yeah. Yeah. Good touches. Good hustle here by Allen to save the possession for the Hoyas. Blair, a good look from the top of the key, and that's their third three of the second half. Mm -hmm. you look up, the momentum has shifted. And Cooley going to the bench early in the second half as Blair fires away from downtown. A chance at a four-point play coming up. Pickett, a couple steps behind the line. And that's the fifth three-pointer of the second half for the Hoyas. And no contest. Good for them, they went on the run. Don't gamble on defense. Do what we do. It's okay. It's not like we don't trust her. Don't turn it over. Be confident offensively and do what we do. Shot clock winding down and Pipkins has to fire it in. And you run that nice little flex offense. Terrific game for Providence. Way to end 2019 and way to start the Big East season. All right, Ed Cooley, uh, the head coach, is joining us right now. Let's see what he has to say after this big win. First of all, Ed Cooley, it's Mike Hill in the studio. Happy New Year to you, my friend. Uh, Hoyas, they made that run in the second half. I know they got it down to 14 points after you built that 33-point lead. They were shorthanded. But you got to give your team a lot of credit for the way they jumped out uh, on this uh, depleted Hoyas team early on. Absolutely. Hey, happy, happy new year to you guys out there. I hope you're doing well, Andy. Uh, Mike, always a pleasure listening to you guys. I, I love our Fox family. Uh, and, you know, it was. I, I don't think we played well in the second half, but I thought we did the right things in the first half to kind of get out. I know they were shorthanded. They're a great team. You know, Yik Seven's one of the best, uh, best bigs in the country. But I was proud of our guys. We showed some perseverance. We were really sloppy in the second half, but we were able to hold on to a win. Ed, Happy New Year. It's Andy. Uh, look, you know I was with you a bunch early November, but what has changed beginning with the Texas game and now this Georgetown game that's given you optimism that the narrative on this season has been flipped? Well, you know, I mean, I just I think our mindset, I, you know, I, too many of our guys and unfortunately young kids today, everybody wants to score their way into the lineup. I mean, you, you just have to play. You know what I mean? I think, I think our chemistry is getting a little bit better, but we, we can't try to score. We just have to try to play. And if we can do that, I think we're going to be a tough out. As you know, everybody in our league, every game is going to be a tough game. I'm just happy to get this one behind us and look forward to getting on the road headed to DePaul. You know, early in the season, Alfred Diallo, I know he wasn't 100% healthy, but he also was not playing like that all Big East player, a potential player of the year candidate. What's changed with his game over the last couple of weeks where he has now reemerged as that kind of player for you? 
I think the versatility, I think Elf is really versatile. I think you can play him in five different positions. I think defensively, he's really, really solid. You know, we, he can guard anyone and he can score against anyone. You know, we need him to be an all-conference player for us to have the type of season we want to have within the league play. So I'm excited about I'm excited about Elf. I'm really proud of his development. Uh, 20 points tonight. And, and the most important question of, of the night, the most important question of this decade, what's your New Year's resolution going into 2020? My New Year's resolution is be the best dad, best husband, best coach, best friend in the country. That's my New Year's resolution. That is all you needed right there. Hey, Ed Cooley, thank you so much for your time. Happy New Year to you, my friend, man. We'll talk to you in 2020. Happy New Year to all of our Fox family members. We love you guys and appreciate you always. Thank you. For the best access, perspective, and personalities in all of sports, follow us at Fox Sports on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.